Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. Now, I'm quite excited for this episode because we are embarking on a big mission to make the chemical reactor. Now, I was messing around and having a look at all the uh, recipes that we needed for this, and it seemed near, not nearly impossible. There's so many recipes for this. If we have a look, look at all these. You Let's say you follow down this tree, you go into here, and then you go into here, and then you go into here, and then you go into here. There's a lot of recipes, right? And I wasn't sure what would cost, like, different resources that we don't have. I wasn't sure how to, how to go about it. But, I came across this fancy item, the crafting calculator. This item is amazing. Now, I've already set it up for the chemical reactor, because, at least with my understanding of the mod, it takes a little bit to get all of this uh, to where it is now. But essentially, I've broken down every single recipe, except for the ones you see here, into this form. So, to make the chemical reactor... We need 824 copper, if I've done this correctly. That is insane. Um, so, most of this stuff, I'm not going to like go and make sure I have the exact amount and all that. But, at least we can see that most of this stuff we can get. Now, some things like tungsten, we're going to have to go into the end to get more of the ore for that. And um, some of like this Bora essence, we're going to have to go into the Twilight Forest, which is my plan for this episode. At least. We'll, we'll see how difficult that is to find. Now, as you might be able to tell, or you might not be able to tell, I am still a little bit lispy because of having my wisdom teeth taken out, but it is fine. I, I can make words happen. <laughs> Some words I struggle with, but it's fine. So, we're going to go in. Now, in order to find this resource that we need, um, this Carmenite, we need to find a dark tower. And I sort of know what it looks like, so we'll see how well this goes. And here we go. I probably should have loaded in the Twilight Forest before I started recording. <laughs> that might have been a, a better option, but here we go. Didn't take too long, so we do need to find a Dark Forest. Now, I'll up the render distance. Hopefully, we don't get too much lag by doing so. Now, the Dark Forest is what we want to find, and in the Dark Forest will be the Dark Tower. Now, the Dark Forest should be pretty easy to find. Essentially, it's really dense trees to the point where there is little to no uh, sunlight. And by little to no, I mean there should be no sunlight. Now, I've also heard... Ooh, I don't think this is it. This is like some sort of swamp. I'm pretty sure there's meant to be a book or a map of sorts that I, that I can get. Uh, maybe I should do that at twilight. Uh, map. Here we go. Blank magic map, maze map. Magic map, maze map. Um, do we want a magic map? Blank magic map. A magic uh, torch berries and raven feather. That shouldn't be too hard to get. We could try this out. Uh, torch berries. I guess they're somewhere out here. Um, should we maybe give that a shot? I mean, we'll keep exploring while we look for uh, these berries to show up or whatever. The Twilight Forest, I have not explored all that much. They've got a fancy variants of our animals, like these bighorn sheep. Um, apparently, they still have oil. <laughs> um... Oh, we got some fancy structures. Now, yeah, I've very much not explored this, so I don't know what we're in for at all. Um, I, I, I actually, I have been here before, because these guys look familiar. Um, okay, this is a spooky forest, is what it says under the mini-map. So, this is not the forest we need. Obviously, it'll, a lot of sun can get in here. Um, we'll keep exploring. Now, I don't think we have to worry about getting our way home. I think we should be able to just teleport home, but... Now, this is a dense twilight forest, so it's dense, but it is not the dark forest we are after. Um, oh, we're, <laughs> we're pushing our, our luck exploring a bit here. Um, you know what? I won't leave you guys watching this. I'll go ahead and explore, and I'll be back once I find a dark forest. How's that sound? Yep, yeah, I'll be back. Uh, just hopping back in here for a second. I found this little area. I was like, oh, some ores and whatnot. I believe underneath here, there's a dragon? Oh, yeah. There it is. So, uh, that's pretty cool, but it's also, uh, pretty scary. <laughs> I, I don't think we can, we can take one of those on. I'm still exploring. I'll show you what I've explored so far. Um, <laughs> I've just gone in a straight line, essentially. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be back again. Hello everyone, we are back again, so I haven't been able to find it, but down here, uh, at the low levels of the world, we should get some torch berries. 
Now, how many do I need? I just need the one, right? And now we just need a raven feather. Uh, we might have one back at home. I'll keep an eye out for one, though. Um, I don't think there's any nearby. But we could see where they spawn, so we want a raven feather. Now, there's two different ravens, right? Now, normally I think you would have to get the twilight forest raven feather, but because there's a uh, bewitchment one, I assume that spawns elsewhere. Um, forest raven. Uh, I don't really particular. Oh, there's little bunny rabbits and little little birds. Oh, it's pretty cute. We could uh, come back here and grab some mobs and and take them to the overworld one time. That might be interesting. Uh, I would assume there would be like a raven in a, a forest like this. I don't know. Looks. Oh, it's an enchanted forest. Believe it or not. Um, as for finding the tower I need, this is not the tower. I believe this is. Yeah, this is. Does not let me in, it seems. I assume that's what this particle effect around me is. It means that I can't do anything here. Let's check. Yeah, this place is protected. Um, ooh. What's this guy? Ow. Okay. <laughs> well, that is not what we we're looking for. I have not found the biome. I haven't traveled too much further. I wanted to go and make this map. So, should I head home and do that? Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's slash home. Hopefully, we went right next to one. <laughs> because it'll be a pain trying to travel all that distance back. Uh, we'll load up our base and I'll turn my render distance back down and we shouldn't have too much lag. <laughs> one would hope. This is a beefy pack though, so... Uh, some lags to be expected. Um, I don't have the most amazing setup in the world, but... Yeah, we try. Here we go. We do have four raven feathers from Bewitchment. So, boom. Magic map focus. Let's get this blank magic map. Ooh, we do not have enough paper. Let's take that back out just in case we lose it. Uh, sugarcane. Uh, apparently, we don't have any sugarcane in our system. Um, with fire, it writes. Craft a magic map focus. So, I wonder, does this itself do anything? No, I think I have to combine it. That's just another ingredient. Uh, we have this sugarcane farm right here with plenty of sugarcane. And we'll harvest some more, that's fine, we can leave that there. This jetpack's really nice, I, I'm surprised I took this long to get a jetpack, if we're honest. Um, oh my god, I need to do paper. I know the feathers are now in the system, but that's nah, fine. Um, do this, bam. Throw that away, boom, 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 boom. Blank magic map, boom. So, let's uh, jump back in the portal. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. It didn't take too long the first time, and it's actually loaded in now. Right? So, it shouldn't take as long, and yet, it seems like it's taking longer. <laughs> but we should be able to use this magic map, and if it's what I'm thinking it is, it should show us some biomes? Let's do it. Here we go. Okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> let's head... Let's fill out this map. Let's head this way. So, this is the Mole Hill, which is that symbol on the map. Then we appear to have... This purple area, is that the spooky forest? That does appear to be the spooky forest. Uh, in this direction, what do we have? We have another grassland area. This map is really big. Can I put it in my offhand? I can. So, this is obviously not what we're after. This forest looks interesting. This Twilight Highlands, it's called. Uh, it is hurting us, but it is also not what we're looking for. Look at this! What? So, that was the Thornlands that we're in. Now, this is the final plateau. Now, we are taking damage, but I think our suit or something we have is regenerating. Oh, and here's where you get the fancy doors. Would you look at this? Can we uh, get these doors? Let's see. I'm holding down Vein Mine. Hopefully, we can even... Ah, we might not be able to break this stuff. We might have to get to this part in the mission. Yes, it does not seem as though I can break this stuff yet. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so that's what that on the map is. Let's head... Uh, what direction? Go this way. I'm just looking on the map in the left of our screen. Just following that. A little bit laggy, which is to be expected. Um, and it's also raining. Can we, like, get rid of the rain? Or is that part of the biome? Part of the biome, isn't it? Yeah. I just tried to sleep in the Twilight Forest. That's what just took place. I'm surprised that didn't, like, insta-kill me or something. You know what I mean? 
Uh, so we have some dark green on the map. Is this a different type of green that we're approaching? Potentially a forest type of green? <laughs> Where are we? Um, oh. Fun. Surely we are near something. We might have to... I don't know. We might have to expand the map. That is an option. We do have enough torch berries, I think. Um, magic map. Maybe we just have to make two maps, right? Blank maze slash ore map. Okay. If I combine all this stuff. Um, we seem to be struggling a bit. We seem to be dying uh, in terms of render distance. Go here. Let's bump this up again. Go big. Go big or go home. Are we, we're going the wrong direction now. How did that happen? We want to go this way. We went back the way we came and it was even laggier. <laughs> uh, so this biome here on the map, what is this? This is the... Is it the Oak Savannah? No, this is the dense twilight forest. Okay. I guess we'll head this way. We'll fill out this map. Um, I'll be back, I guess, once I've done that. Hopefully I come across a dark forest is, is what I'm after. And yeah, I'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently... This right here is a dark forest. I think we're actually above the dark forest. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it does look like that. Okay. So, this is the dark forest. Now, we're looking for a dark forest tower. Uh, that is where we're meant to get a bunch of our stuff. I think we also need this wood. So, let's actually grab some tools here. Uh, what can I move? So this is twilight oak wood. No, we are after... It's called dark wood? Oh, here's dark wood. Okay. Uh, let me vein mine this. Did that work? We're about to find out. We're still lagging a little bit, most likely. Let's uh, lower this back down. Maybe we mine you? Oh, there we go. We got a bunch. We got 25 dark wood. Uh, I assume that should be enough. Uh, let's head back out here. So, we're looking for a tower in particular, right? Uh, let's also, before we keep going, look at our... Hang on, we got plenty of power. We've barely used any. So this is what the forest looks like. I was about to say that we've almost filled up the map and I haven't seen it because actually it might not exist. Um, and by that I mean there's meant to be a symbol on the map. So I guess I should head out of the map because I don't see a symbol for it here. And obviously I mean I would see the, the tower. The tower is pretty big. Uh, with that being said, I can't see anything at the moment. Every so often it, it appears as though I can't see anything. Let's um, up the render distance again. We'll keep going. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to be blinded, but... Uh, I don't know. I guess we have something that stops from being blinding. <laughs> I, I honestly don't really know, if I'm honest. Um, hmm, so this is the dark forest. Does that mean it looks like there's a dark forest that way? If I'm looking at the map. Do I understand that correctly? Um, okay. We'll head in this direction a bit. So yeah, the tower symbol on the minimap should look somewhat like a tower with uh, different, uh, would you say, branches? Oh, can't see anything again. I don't want to travel too far when I'm blinded because obviously we might fly past it and that would be horrible. Um, it's meant to be here though. <laughs> so all we need though is um, the, there's like these little things that essentially they look like silverfish. And they're called uh, Tower Borers, or something like that. Uh, let's actually drop down here, and I'll show you something else. Uh, so this dark wood, I believe we do this, and we get Tower Wood Planks, right? So that is one thing. So I'm wondering if they would also spawn just out and about here. Let's land for a second. Uh, it doesn't actually show us. Any eye doesn't show us, uh, in whatever version this is, whether or not, uh, w where the monsters spawn what I was trying to say there. Uh, I guess I'll be back again once I find these tower borers. Alright, here we are. I've checked out that last dark forest and didn't find anything, so now we're going to be going off the map a bit here, and hopefully finding a tower here. I, I would like to have a second map, but I didn't bring feathers with me, or, you know, the map making capabilities. So we're just going to have to kind of uh, eyeball this. 
Uh, should I up the render distance even more? I don't think I don't think we're loading in the full distance anyway, but we can up it. Go a bit more extreme. Wait for this render distance to or this blindness to go. So this biome itself, this is the dark forest center. I would assume that it would spawn here. Here we go. Oh my! Look at this. This is insane. All right, so this is what we want now. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to let us in, right? And I would assume that's because we haven't defeated another boss. But with that being said, we might... I, I don't know, really know how the rules work, right? So there might be a way to attack the uh, the mobs that would otherwise be inside here, right? So there's these little tower boards. We, we might have to start doing some... Uh, what do you call it? Whatever this mod is. Twilight Forest boss battles. We might have to do that. I'll walk around this. I don't really know how I would lure them out. Because <laughs> essentially they're like silverfish, right? And we can't break the blocks. So I don't really, really know. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to do some boss battles to get up to this boss battle. Just so that we can get in. I... I don't even want to particularly do this boss battle. I just want to... Oh, we can. Okay, so there appears to be ghast. Um, can the ghast break box? What's this? This is a spider. I can't actually attack it. I assume it can attack me. Which we might see in a few seconds. Uh, oh, another thing. It's in here. Um, did I bring... Hmm. I didn't bring a tool to pick up a mob. Because that is my next plan. If I come across one, without having to break blocks, I will, uh, waypoint this. Okay, so they're actually attacking me now. Can I attack it back? No. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I want a little tunnel borer. Look at you. You look pretty strong. Carmenite golems. That's where I'd get my Carmenite, I guess. By killing that guy. Maybe. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you like how he's meant to be big and scary and he just hit us a few times? We don't even have our best, uh, chest piece on. Which is this guy. And, and, so, yeah, yeah. There's also these gas. Um, alright, I'm thinking I'm gonna edit this part out. Not this part that you're watching now, obviously. But <laughs> I'll edit out what I'm about to do, and that will be I'll see how many bosses I have to do, and I'll see if we can do them. How's that sound? Uh, so, user is about to die, activating hover mode. Not about to die. Why am I about to die? Hover mode enabled. Ah! Huh? User is about to die. I'm really not there. Um, so I don't know how that happened. I guess I'll try and figure out how to turn that off too. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Alright guys, so it turns out it's not actually as easy or as quick as I would have hoped. It seems as though there is quite a few steps we have to do. So, uh, I'll set a waypoint. I might look around it a bit more. I don't know if there's a way to bypass and like get this mob without doing all this stuff. Um, dark tower. But we might... Now, now I'm going to say this with high hopes that this is going to be easier than, than it might be. But I might try and go through and speedrun a bunch of them. Um, there's some blaze in here. See, there's some mobs in here. I'm wondering... Do you think we could find a uh, rainbow oak leaves? That's pretty cool. Um, do you think we could find a a tower borer? Hmm. I I, heard, I was trying to listen because I thought I heard footsteps behind me and I, I was getting a bit scared, if I'm honest. Uh, we got some nether warts up here too. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'll... <laughs> I'm trying to like, uh, what do you call it, talk slowly in, in hopes that I'm just magically going to find one of these guys and be like, ah, I don't have to defeat every boss in the game. I can just, you know, make this space thing that I want to make. I can't even open a chest, can I? Yeah, it looks like uh, this isn't going as planned. <laughs> it's a lot harder than expected. So I'll go through and I guess I'll come back once I've found each boss that I'm apparently meant to attack, although I have just probably got myself, I guess I'm going to teleport away. I can teleport home and then teleport back in. Oh, look at this big lamp. Oh, hey skeleton. Oh, look at this creepy dude. 
It's a beetle of sorts. Come on, surely... I just want to see one spawn in here. One of these silverfish looking dudes. Because then I can come back with a, you know, a tool to pick it up. Ooh, a tool to pick it up. Actually, yeah, can you blow up and break the walls? <laughs> okay, wait, there we go. Okay, so the stuff actually broke. We did actually get some things. Um, did that annoy anyone? Is anyone annoyed? So it looks like we can bypass some of the stuff, right? Because if we got a whole bunch of creepers in here, we could essentially tear down the building, right? Um, okay. I, I think we'll go and do the boss fight. So I'll be back once I am at the first one, which apparently there's just some bosses in the forest. So I guess we'll, I'll meet you back in the forest. Also, <laughs> I just realized I forgot to even show you how this worked. I, I just showed you what I had set up. So basically, uh, I'll do it with another example. We'll get like a, I don't know, what, a different type of reactor. Let's get this reactor controller, right? So, I'll disk this dis like this. So, when you open it, this is what you'll see, right? This uh, crafting calculator. And you'll find the recipe you want. So, oh, I want to make this reactor controller. You'll place it in here. Uh, actually, no, you won't. I lied. But you can do that. <laughs> you load up the recipe. So, for me, it is by pressing R on my keyboard. The letter R for rabbit. And then you have this screen and you click the plus. And then it'll show you on here the input. No, the output, which is the reactor controller, the catalyst, and what that means is uh, how you make the item. So for this reactor controller, to actually make the reactor controller, we just put stuff in a crafting table. So the catalyst for this is a crafting table. Then these are the inputs that you need to put into the crafting table to get the reactor controller, right? Um, let me just read some of these other options. Label, grid, disambiguate settings. Cannot save new recipe. So yeah. Anyway, you click uh, save, <laughs> I'm mumbling a bit, and then if we have it selected, you can see these are the inputs, right? Then on these, I can press R on the gas tank, and I can press, press this plus, and then click save, and it will re replace the gas tank that was previously here with the recipes that it needed. So I can do the same for this reactor frame, I can click save, and I can go through and essentially do it for every single bit and eventually break it down to its core uh, pieces, like what I've done with this chemical reactor. So I've done it with every single recipe it needed, and this is what I've been left with. So yeah, I just thought I'd run through that. Um, hmm. Do I go back in the forest? All right, I'll be back. All right, here we are. Now, I've gone to a little symbol on the map. This is supposed to be some sort of mole hill. Now, I don't know what determines defeating a boss, but essentially we're just going to head down and and just start, I don't know, killing things, right? <laughs> that makes sense to me. So here we go. Um, does anything look like a boss? Um, I don't really see anything in particular. There seems to be more stuff underneath this uh, little hill. Um, what's this guy? Maybe we take him out. Oh, he's taken out. Take you out. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit confused. I don't, I don't really know how this works. We can read that achievement I just got, if we can find a thing to land on. Land here. There does seem to be a chest. Maybe we loot the chest. Let's check. Um, shoot up. Protect yourself. And some of the local wildlife. Did I put on iron? I don't think I did. Oh, I picked up iron boots. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll check the chest. Charm of life? Okay. We have a charm of life now. How do I open up this traveler's logbook? How do I do that? Uh, I'll check that out in a second. I'll, lo I'll look in the settings. The controls. Uh, do we see another chest anywhere? Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think you saw my hand move. That was uh, when it took place. Uh, oh, there also seems to be some spawners. What's this? Uh, just a monster spawner for a twilight wraith. Is that what this guy is? Is this the boss? I doubt it. Well, I defeated him. Uh, does that count for anything? I don't really know. And what are these guys? These, like, slimes. Slime beetle, apparently. Let's uh, take it out. Just so that we've, you know, done it. In case that's a requirement of sorts. Uh, do we see any more chests? I don't think I do. Oh, there we go. Uh, some ore magnets. Some naga scales. Um, interesting. 
some of the stuff we can dump. I don't really need. Uh, we'll take the Naga Scale. We'll take the Ore Magnet, I guess. Maybe it's used for something. It's from the Twilight Forest. Time to even the scales. Okay. Um, what's this say? The Lich's Tower. So I think we've killed... An, I don't think we have to do anything here, if I'm honest. I'm going to head back up. Now, I think we've destroyed a Naga already, which are those, like, uh, long snakes. We'll run into one again. I'll, I'll find one to take out. Anyway, oh, where did I drop in? <laughs> Alright, I'll... Oh, is this it? Here we go. So, I think we've taken one out before. Uh, on the map, it should be right here. I'm pretty sure it's just a maze that you find. And, yeah, it's one of these. And inside of it, there should be, like, a sneaky snake slithering around. Now, the fact that I don't see one, do I have to drop in for it to spawn, perhaps? I might have already defeated this one um, in a previous lifetime. I don't see any sneaky snake, if I'm honest. We can head to another one. I do want to defeat one, just to, you know, make sure that we've done it. Uh, is there a sneaky snake in here? Yeah, here we go. Here is the Naga. So basically, we just start hitting him. Uh, apparently, we have to hit his head. Um, I can put on my armor to make it a little bit safer. Put this on. Here we go. Hey, buddy. You're not that much of an issue. We're, in fact, we're gaining health while we, while we fight you, so... You're not too much of an issue. Now, I believe this guy is meant to, like, break apart into small bit. Oh, no. We just... That, we, I think we did it. <laughs> uh, polishing kit. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on me. Uh, a lot of stuff that I probably should have put back. I'll throw one of the orb magnets away. I think that's... We have everything now. <laughs> so, what did we get? We got a Naga trophy. We got a Twilight Shader Naga. And this can be applied to... Certain things, apparently. We also got a Twilight Shader bag. Okay. Um, put our this back on. Um, do we have any where to put this stuff? All right, I'm gonna teleport back to the home, back to our base. This should be faster uh, teleports. I've got my radio distance down quite a bit. Um, oh, something died. That was odd. Uh, yeah, we'll put a whole bunch of stuff away. I assume I don't need any of this stuff to come with me. Um, put a bunch of this stuff away. That away, that, 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 that. Um, we got a bunch of that scale. Um, this way. This way. Put this way. I feel pretty comfortable about that. Oh, we can put the crafting calculator away. Uh, oh, no, I should probably bring it back. <laughs> um, purely because I want to know how much of different stuff that I need. Okay, so, we've defeated the Naga. Next up is the Lich. Now, I will alt-tab real quick. The Lich looks like a king on the map. So, that would be in this direction. And I believe they live in a tower, I think. So we'll head this way for our next victim. Um, where are we? This next biome here. We should see a something right here. It says there's a... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this place looks nice. Imagine defeating this guy and making this your base. Or even with the building art gadget. Copying this entire thing and bringing it into the overworld. We might try that one time. That might be fun. Uh, so, because we've defeated the Naga, we're able to actually break the blocks here and go inside. Um, I assume... This room? Uh, match it. Yep, here we go. Uh, how strong are you? And what do I have to defeat you with? You gonna be an issue? They seem to have fancy, uh, shields around them. Hmm. Um, this server that I'm on, my own hosted one, is lagging a little bit, so... Uh, do I have to defeat you with something else? Can I not use swords? Am I meant to use, like, magic or, or bows or something? Um, let me just stand down here. <laughs> right, I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently they shoot stuff and I can launch it back at them. So I think if I... 
just do this, it should fly back, right? Right? I should be able to hit it. If I'm clicking perfectly, it should fly back. So apparently we hit it with one, and it um takes off its shield for a period of time. Was my understanding? <laughs> um, hmm? Let's check, are we lagging? Well, we are lagging quite a bit. Um, probably because of all the render distance loading. Oh, of course. Really? Now let me alt tab. Is there any other options? Um, in addition, they can be removed by firing projectiles from a scepter of twilight. Um, hmm. Scepter of twilight. How can we make that? Hopefully we're not dying while I'm alt tabbed here. Uh, scepter of twilight. Interesting. Uh, can be found in loot chests in the Twilight Forest. So, I guess since we don't have that, that's not really something we can... Oh, surely! Surely that worked, right? Really? Apparently it did not. We did see it launch back. I, I guess we missed or something, though. <laughs> this is... Welcome to the Twilight Forest, boys. Come on. So, these other guys, apparently, you cannot hurt whatsoever. But you can buy their things that they shoot at me back at the dude as well. Come on, man. We have to go and, like, search for uh, <laughs> some chests and try and find this thing because this is crazy. They have four shields. Ugh. Surely. Okay, I fired one back at him. This is... Oh, he... Actually, look at the top. He has taken a bit of damage. Okay. Okay. I believe you. Was that the first one we've hit? I mean... What is going on here? Okay, we have more of a distance this time. Should we try and time it? That worked. Okay, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. That's, that's all it took. Just slow and steady, and I win the race. Here we go. Here we go. No, you're not putting your shields back up. No, sir. I don't want to do that stuff again. Nope. You are going to die. You have very low health left. Mister, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah! Ooh, and lots of loot, apparently. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at what we got. We have received the Twilight Lich Trophy. Uh, and a whole bunch of these perks for, uh, different tools. We'll have to check those out sometime. We also got the Zombie Scepter, apparently. Uh, that is sweet. Next up is possibly the Hydra? Um, now, if I were to guess, I would say this symbol here is the Hydra, but uh, we'll have a look. I'll just speed this through this time. Uh, I won't mess around. Um, yeah, that is the Hydra. Now, I believe that is what is up next, and then we should be able to go into the Dark Forest. That is my guess. We might already be able to go in the dark forest. Is it worth a try? How far away is it? Um, what direction is it? I guess we could just fly past, kill the Hydra real quick. <laughs> yeah? How's that sound? Uh, this looks like we might be over it, or at least nearing it. Let's also up the render distance a bit. Alright. Here is the Hydra's lair. We're in a fiery forest, and here's the Hydra. Hey, Hydra. Oh, we're actually... We can't attack it yet. It has that weird symbol around it. Okay. Um, not entirely sure why that is. The Hydra is before the Dark Forest. Now, uh, it also says possibly the... Um, where are we? I'm looking at the progression here. So after the Lich, it says in the Swamp. Um... But they don't actually say what the bosses are. 
Minish Room in the Labyrinth. Uh, do, 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 do. The Labyrinth. Okay. Hmm. Hydra lair in the middle of a fire swamp, and then we get the Dark Forest. So, I've got to go into either a swamp or a Minish Room. Swamp or a Minish Room? So, the Minish Room's in the Labyrinth, but on my... Hmm. I, I guess we'll do that. Let's go into a Labyrinth, and the symbol doesn't look familiar. Oh, the symbol is these. These are weird pictures here. So, we've got to go... This direction? <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Um, head into... Oh, we're right above it. So, there is a labyrinth. Here it is. Um, are we meant to be able to just fly on top of it? What's the... What's the, you know, the excitement about this? The hedge? Um, there's some spiders. <laughs> There's no fancy items. We can get a golden apple. That's pretty cool. Not too cool, though. Uh, what have we got? Some wood. Mushroom stew that apparently we haven't eaten yet. What else? A saddle? That's nice. Is this is a spider? Let's kill this guy. A hedge spider? There we go. Is that like a reward or something? <laughs> I don't know. What's this? Oh, uh, hostile wolf. That's scary. Firefly. Um, okay, I don't really, I don't really know what the point of this is. Is there, are we meant to manually run through it? Or is it just meant to be like, oh, look, you checked it out. Slay the lich, get a scepter. Okay, and retrieve a scepter to clear poisonous mosquitoes from the swamp. See through, well... Blinding darkness of the dark forest curse and resist. Okay. Can we now go into the dark forest? Is that what that says? Because <laughs> we have this uh, zombie scepter. Let's give it a shot. Now, it has... Does it have a little bit of charge or no charge? I think it has a little bit of charge. Let's wield it. And head over to the dark tower, which is in the dark forest. So, we're at the dark forest... We don't seem to have that effect on us. Oh, it's... Here it is now. In fact, we're getting blinded. In fact, the zombie scepter is charging up from the blindness. And it doesn't let us in. What is up with that? Okay. I guess not. Do I have to right-click? Do I have to be like... Huzzah! It is I. The zombie master. No, I don't know. Um, I guess we went in the swamp. Now we've got to go into the mushroom dude. <laughs> Which is in one of the labyrinths. Uh, where are we? We are here. So we've got to head back. There's a labyrinth here, it seems. Right over here. Below me now. Oh, no. We already checked out the labyrinth. Right. It was, it was just boring. It was... <laughs> There's no interesting thing. Uh, perhaps we need a different type of scepter. I'm very confused. Um, Alright, I'll be back. I am back once more. This is going to be a pain to edit. So, they say there's a swamp with a labyrinth in it, right? Um, <laughs> so, this is a hedge maze. This isn't the labyrinth. The labyrinth is actually uh, these symbols over here. So, they're the same symbol, but different coloured. So this over here, what we are at right now, is said to be the labyrinth. Um, I don't, however, know how to enter it. Is this the entrance to the labyrinth? Uh, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like something. So here we go. Uh, hear me, labyrinth. I enter ye. Okay, I, I think we're in the labyrinth. So, I, I don't know what that means, and why I'm meant to care. Is there a boss in here? I guess we'll sprint around. We'll get lost. Um, okay, maybe we'll kill a, you know, a cave spider or two. Just to keep the, I don't know, the labyrinth gods happy. Some lava. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. 
Nice room here. What's this? A uh, Minotaur? Wait, is that what I'm meant to kill? Got him. I assume this is going to be like a boss Minotaur, right? Surely. Surely there's just like this horrifying, absolutely traumatizing... Oh, here we go. Little dude. You can tell I'm used to having my sword in the first slot. You're trying to switch to it. Oh, we're getting a little bit of lag. <laughs> there we go. Breakthrough here. Oh, we are dying. Here we go. Um, Twilight Spellbook. That's pretty cool. Some maze wafers. Mm. Fireflies. Nothing too interesting. Um, oh, and it was a trap. Oh. oh. We're still blowing up, apparently. Um, and we're still on fire, which is odd to me. Uh, we'll keep that there. Move that away for now. Twilight Spellbook. That's for Electro Blobs. We can eat a wafer, maybe. Nope, apparently we can't. Because we are full already. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll keep looking. Twilight Forest confused me. It's very... Uh, I guess it's a different style. You know, it's not just like, look at this cool machine. It's, hey, look at this cool dungeon. And uh, I'm not quite sure yet if that's my style or not. Uh, I'm still not sure what I'm looking for in particular. Ironwood, Charm of Keeping. Ironwood, more wafers. Some TNT in here. Look at these dudes running on the spot. So I'm assuming that there's going to be like a Minotaur boss. Because there's a whole bunch of these guys sprinting around. Um, but alas, I'm yet to see that. This looks like a trap. That's interesting. Uh, what's this chest look like? It's not a trap chest. At least it doesn't look like it. We've got some fancy armor. There's a lot of ironwood as well. I guess we can come back here later if we need it. Um, oh. What is this? Hmm. What do you think that's meant to be? Surely that's like, you know, where the evil boss that I'm meant to defeat spawns, right? Um... Do I have to kill all the Minotaurs? <laughs> How do I know? Okay, surely there's a Twilight Forest book, you know? At Twilight... Um... Twilight... Uh... Book? Traveler's Logbook. Wild Root and a book. Okay. Um, I guess we'll we'll get that. We can also use plants, it seems. Eggplant. Or we can use this stuff. Let's go home. We'll read the book. Or we'll make the book, at least. And we'll wrap this episode up for now. Um, <laughs> a lot has happened, but I feel like we haven't gotten too much... I guess we've gotten further. We've gotten the logs that we need. We've found the Dark Tower, which wasn't as straightforward as I had first assumed. Uh, now we just need to fly over here. Put that there. Rearrange our inventory a little bit. Uh, clear our inventory a little bit. And make one of these. I assume we have to do this recipe. Nope. We don't have a sapling from the Twilight Forest. Do we have these roots? We do, for whatever reason. We have one. Hopefully we couldn't duplicate that. Okay. Um, what? Oh. Really? Did I really do this? Wait. I assume I could have, uh, altered it. <sighs> okay. Sapling, um... Is there a way, do you think, to get... Uh, I guess I could just go back in. Back we go. We gotta get ourselves a, a sapling. And judging by how long it's taking to load, I think my render distance was uh, back to high. Potentially. Alright, we're, we're gonna get this sapling. I'm gonna make that book. I'm gonna have a quick look at it. If there's a lot of reading, I'll do that off camera. If there's a little bit of reading, I'll read it on camera and then we will wrap it up. Um, so I assume that all I need to do is a go up here and vein mine this. And then... Pick up this, go home, and here we go, any second now, fly over here, open up this, this painting's way, and bam, Traveler's Logbook, from Twilight Forest, let's open them up, okay, uh, the world, the entity is the treasure, unlock progress, okay, history, resize, okay, world, 
Um, biomes. So we can see all these. And we can see things and stuff. What? Okay, that's very helpful. I'm glad that I saw that. So I guess I have to learn more about it before I unlock stuff. Major landmarks. So, so far we've seen the hedge maze. Not much going on. I guess we apparently we have to learn more about things and stuff. I'm going to have to learn about this. Um, the Lich Tower, we've defeated the Lich. The Hydra, we haven't defeated the Hydra, but we've found it. Um... The Naga we have defeated. The Labyrinth we've checked out. The Dark Tower we want to check out. The Final Tower... I don't know, I guess we found it. So, this is the order that it says, right? Hedge Maze, Hollow Hills, Naga, which we've defeated. Lich, we've, which we've defeated. Then the Labyrinth, which we have now checked out. Large sprawling mazes that can be found beneath the Twilight Swarm biome. Locating one of these landmarks requires a good eye for terrain, as the entrance is hidden inside a hill the size of a small hollow hill. Well, what does that mean, though? Um, deep within the fire storm is a hydra lair. Uh, okay. Okay, before we end it, I want to see if I can go in and check out the hydra. I want to see if I can now attack it, since I simply walked into the labyrinth. If not, I'll, I'll say my goodbyes and we'll wrap it up. <laughs> uh, what a nightmare. <laughs> All of this to get a... I just want to go to space, man. It's good, though, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have touched this mod pack. Or, the, or this mod, I mean, for a long time. Because it's just not really... I don't, I don't know, I just don't really have a need for it, but... It's cool that they incorporate all the different uh, mods in it. Okay, so here we go. We're back at this lair. Here's the Hydra. Please, please work. Please let me... Why? Why, though? What about this? Am I not allowed to do? Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I hope uh, some of this was helpful, whether it was uh, going through this... Oh, what is this? Like a king slime, isn't it? Or is that a different slime? Oh, one of them had a cool name. I think this guy. Oh, killed him. And we got error frugality and exploiting. Okay, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully I've helped somewhat with, uh, I don't know, at least going through some of these bosses. I'm, I'm going to go through all these bosses on camera, obviously, because I assume some of you will be doing this too, and might possibly, like me, have never touched the Twilight Forest, so it might be helpful. Um, so as I learn, hopefully I'll be able to teach you guys. This crafting calculator is amazing as well. Feel free to ask if it was confusing how I went through it, uh, because this, this can be extremely helpful. I think later on it will be helpful with actually crafting as well, not just like telling me what I need, but I think actually crafting will be helpful. Uh, I don't know exactly yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, if you need more help to do with the crafting calculator, just uh, ask me in the comments or, or on the Discord, and I'll do my best to uh, either tell you what I know or even learn more to tell you than what I know, likely in an episode or in the comments. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. We are still trying to get to 700 subs by the end of the month. We are at... 647, I think? I, I'm not actually sure. We might even be at 650. I'm not sure, but thank you guys for the support and uh, the love to both this series and my other series. Uh, I've got some behind-the-scenes series coming up. Uh, yeah, the, uh, we'll leave it as that, but they're going to be pretty exciting, and I'm going to essentially set up a week worth of daily uploads for these new series that I do, and that'll be it, right? I'll just have... A series worth of content for the... A, a week's worth of content for the uh, series. And depending on how people like it, how uh, how I like it to record and all that kind of stuff, then we might keep it a, a normal series. But I'm going to have these behind-the-scenes stuff that I do over the weeks. And whenever I've got it ready, I'll let you guys know with the first episode. And then each new day, there will be a new episode for that, uh, that new series that we've got. And I've got some pretty exciting ones. Uh... I'm also thinking about starting up a new Minecraft series, another modded one, that is uh, easier to load, isn't as demanding, and I'll do extremely quick videos on it, so like just 10 minute videos, just so that I have some content for you guys coming out daily uh, to do with Minecraft, because the Stoneheart stuff is pretty easy to, to get going because uh, it loads quite quickly.
but MC Eternal is quite a quite a pain, quite a nightmare. So if I could set up like a Agrarian Skies or you know a Sky Factory thing or something similar, not not something that you guys have seen before, perhaps uh, I might try that out and we'll do quick episodes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.